Food Network star who got her start in radio first in the Air Force at radio stations in South Korea and San Antonio, Texas, before appearing on Hot 97. Now her love of radio, food, and true crime are all coming together in her first podcast. It's called Cooked and Booked. Fans are loving it, leaving comments on Sunny's Instagram saying, love this podcast, and I didn't even listen to podcasts. And well, somebody else wrote, it was excellent, keep them coming. And you were made for this. Take a look. I'm Sunny Anderson, host of Food Network's podcast, Cooked and Booked. Are we talking about a maple heist? Yeah. Is there about to be the heat of maple syrup in old Quebec here? We like to call that a spoiler alert right here on Cooked and Booked. Are you ready for this? Well, get ready. It's the podcast where food and true crime get blitzed, blended, and baked into one deliciously dangerous dish. Ooh, please welcome to the Tam Fam, Sunny Anderson! Booked. Cooked and booked. I love it. So I know that you've had many, many hats. You've worn so yeah. many. But people in the past that approach you about a podcast, you kept saying no. Why? You know, I feel like uh, a lot of good no's bring you to the best yes. I like that. Right? I love that. And, and I'm not here to just do everything. Mm -hmm. But when Food Network said, we know that you're into crime. Yeah. Obviously, I'm into food. Yeah. And they had an idea. I said, I am in. Because a lot of these stories I knew about. But then some of them I didn't know about. Well, so. that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Having done a, a crime show for Discovery for years, I never knew there were so many food-related crimes. It's unbelievable. I mean, we tell a story of a lady that did a pyramid scheme where she stole millions, having people make small batches of cheese purportedly for a makeup company for their face care and none of it was true but these what? people were making cheese in their house yes oh, yeah wow. we've got a story of a man that was selling million dollar bottles of wine and he was soaking labels off at his home and so there's a lot of crime there's a lot of scams going on there's a lot of like world. i can't believe this actually happened unbelievable all yeah. right so you have some examples behind you because you got you yes. got to bring food when sunny anderson's here we got to have food in here eat, right all right gotta eat. Let's eat. So, <laughs> the, <laughs> These dishes are tied to specific episodes yes. of your show. So there's one episode that we have on Cooked and Booked called The Great Maple Heist. How many people knew that Canada had a maple cartel? It went maple syrup. down is in it Quebec. That expensive? It is not, not only is it expensive, but maple ounce for ounce is more expensive than oil. Yeah, what? sometimes 10 to 20 times more expensive. So what Okay, wait, done... I gotta go tap a tree. Yeah. Get... Hello, <laughs> hello. Retirement account. Oh my God. Yeah, so basically in Quebec and in Canada, they kind of hold on to the maple syrup because there are years that fluctuate, obviously, with temperatures outside yeah. and weather where they might not be able to supply properly. So they have them in a warehouse right. and on the great maple heist. Somebody was like, there was a heist. Let me go get it. Yeah, so oh there was just maple syrup flowing out there. So Sounds easier know. than a Brinks truck yes. robbery. So There's let's go. Definitely maple syrup is more expensive. Okay. Right? So, so what one I of these is do, maple syrup? Yes. One's maple and uh -huh. one is high fructose corn syrup. Oh, I can already tell you. It's pancake syrup. I can already tell. From the color? I can tell you from the color. You think you can tell from the color? Okay, now you got me doubting myself. I, listen, Hold I on. don't know which one's which either. On. I love that you're not on the carbs, but you know. No, I'm, <laughs> what? I'm on the carbs. I'm gonna get the, I've gotta test the purity. Are you kidding me? I live for carbs. All right, wait. I'm just yeah, trying, I'm trying to get the purity here. Mm, okay. okay. Oh, that's the real maple syrup. You think this is the real mm -hmm. one? It is. Okay, let me see. Mm-hmm, I love my job. <laughs> Which oh, one? Wow. I think it's this one. I think, I think. Okay, let's get I, the answer. I think this is the maple syrup. I do too. You just changed because I said it. No, but. No, you did. You know what? Let me tell you why. Don't try to heist my I show. I think this is the maple syrup, but I love the way this one tastes. <laughs> so. This is the real one. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next up. Okay, so now we have another episode. It's all about truffles. 
Okay, we know truffles are expensive, but how many people have truffle oil in your pantry? And you, you do? I do. No truffles in it nine times out of yeah, ten. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, there's something in there called 2,4-diathmine potentate something, whatever. Okay. Yeah, dipent, whatever. So it's not truffle? Yeah, it's okay. not truffle. Okay. Actually, it's derived from petroleum. Yeah, it's a scent and a flavor derived from petroleum. Um, and so the episode of Cooked and Booked where we talk about truffles, it's not just uh, someone blowing the lid off of the whole truffle oil right. game, but then it talks about, it gets a little sketchy, where in France, a lot of people knew that they used pigs back yeah. in the day, but now yeah. they use dogs. Yeah, they use dogs now. So yeah. usually around truffle season, it's such a staunch com competition amongst farmers mm -hmm. that dogs will show up at the ER at vets because they've been poisoned. <gasps> Dogs get harmed, stolen. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and sometimes the rainbow bridge. Okay, this was a whole episode? The entire episode. Okay, we'll talk so what about am I it. doing with this? So we've got some truffle fries. Okay. okay. Now, a lot of times you I might go to a restaurant it. and get something with truffles in it, and restaurateurs found out that even real truffles don't taste truffly enough for their people. So they overwhelm you. So they you with the give you the fake yeah. truffles. So let's just see. Okay. This is a fascinating episode. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Tastes like 2,4 dipenthate something. Uh-oh. I'm gonna let you go first. Okay. I think this is the real one. Okay, I did too. I think that, no, I think it, because this one had like an oily or aftertaste, yeah, right? Yeah, it did. I it don't was in-your-face truffles. This was the real yeah. one! <laughs> I knew it! We did that. We could go solve crimes all around America. Don't invite us to dinner, because we're going to test you. We're going to tell it's you. like Cagney and Lacey. Exactly. There you go. That's what I truly love about cooking um, books, Before you, know? you go, yeah. I have to congratulate you. As I eat this fry, your cookbook, Sunny's yes. Kitchen, Easy Food for Real Life. Yes. 10 years old? 10 years old. I wrote it in 2013. So your cookbook, now at 10 years old, is like a collector's, I mean, this is like iconic. Yeah, it's in its second printing right now. Second printing. It got to the New York Times bestseller list, so I'm really proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what? in celebration of her podcast, in celebration of this amazing book. You're all getting a copy of Sunny's legendary Ten years of great meals. Thank you, darling. Thank you, I appreciate you so much. Check out Cooked and Booked, available wherever you listen to your podcast. New episodes out every Tuesday. You can also catch Sunny on the kitchen Saturdays at 11 a.m. on Food Network.